Welcome inside fitnessinformant.com, Fitness Informant's YouTube channel, our social media channels. I'm FI founder and CEO Ryan Buckeye here with a new product breakdown, a reformulated version of Ghost Size. This is going to be version three of their muscle building puttered supplement. Who doesn't want to get bigger, leaner, stronger? And quite frankly, creatine monohydrate, a staple anchored ingredient in this formula, is the most well-studied, proven dietary supplement ingredient on the frickin' planet. And we get that again here in Go Size, but they have made some slight changes to the formula based on consumer feedback, and they actually put some more expensive ingredients in this without raising the price. First off, Ghost Size is the brand's muscle builder. A lot of times people will refer to Ghost Size as their creatine product. And yes, there's creatine in the product itself, but there's several other ingredients that help with muscle building, recovery, growth, and performance output. Now, in versions in the past, they've experimented with different variations of creatine. Then they went to just a creatine monohydrate, the most previous, uh, that, that creatine monohydrate, and they also included beta alanine in it, but based on consumer feedback, they actually took out the tingle-free beta alanine because consumers just didn't like it. They wanted more of a use occasion on ghost size. So ghost, brand of the people, listen to the people, and came out with the new reformulation. This is gonna be available in three flavors. I actually have one flavor here and then the unflavored, so you'll see cherry limeade and the natural, which is gonna be sweetened with stevia, and they also have a sour Warheads watermelon flavor, as well as their authentic collaboration on the Ghost Size product line. So let's dive into the updated SFP here on Ghost Size V3 and let you know what we think. So the first ingredient here is gonna be a branded version of creatine monohydrate called Creapir at 5,000 milligrams. This is five grams. This is the rule of thumb when it comes to creatine monohydrate. All the studies that we typically read and refer to go back to five grams of creatine monohydrate. Now, creatine monohydrate supplementation does actually vary based on weight, size, activity level, but for the most part, five grams is in reality a safe bet for the vast majority of consumers. Cool thing about creatine, it is 99.9% .9 pure creatine. There are other versions of creatine out there, could be generic versions of creatine that might not be pure, so you don't necessarily know if you're actually getting a full five gram active dosage from that particular ingredient. Next ingredient here, which is something that's unique when it comes to a muscle building uh, product itself, is they have a full yield betaine in it, which means that they're using betaine anhydrose and an exogenous nitrate in betaine nitrate is NO3T. So this serve, serves multiple purposes. If you look at betaine nitrate, which is dosed at 1.25 grams, which is gonna be half of the 2.5 grams, betaine nitrate is a combination of betaine and exogenous nitrates. So betaine, as we'll talk about right now, because this covers betaine anhydrose as well, is good for strength and power and performance output. If you think about it, the more strength and power you can put out during a lift, the more damage you can do to your muscle fibers, which then get repaired, recovered, and grow bigger and stronger as they grow back. You wanna obviously have those gym sessions, epic gym sessions, long gym sessions, and hard gym sessions to stimulate muscle growth. The nitrate part is really cool because obviously that's going to increase blood flow into the muscles. And so for a lot of people, that's like bigger, epic, fuller pump. And that's true. It can contribute to the pump and that's part of the aesthetics of it. But being able to bring nutrient rich blood back into the muscle cells in which you just beat the shit out of in your workout helps repair and recover those muscle cells to then again, going back to what I said earlier, repair them bigger and stronger all part of a muscle building supplement. So you get 2.5 grams of that, you're getting 1.95 grams of the betaine nitrate, which yields 1.25 grams of nitrate uh, of betaine, and betaine anhydrose is dosed at 1.28 grams, which actually yields 1.25 grams of betaine. So you can kind of see the yields and the combinations between those ingredients. This ingredient here is a new ingredient added to it, which I love, PKTP added at 400 milligrams. So PKTP, if you think about creatine and you think about what the primary use of creatine is, it's really to help with that ATP cycle, production cycle, because as you have high intense exercises, you, you lose that. And creatine helps replenish that and keeps the intensity and, and the energy levels up. PKTP is an exogenous form of ATP, which also is gonna to contribute to that, allowing you to have more energy, better oxygen, a lot of good things come with from increased ATP in the body. PKTP, one of my favorite ingredients used here at 400 milligrams. Next ingredient here as 200 milligrams is called epicatechin. So it's a fancy name for a, an ingredient that what it does is it inhibits myostatin in the body. So myostatin is a protein that your body releases to essentially regulate muscle size. I've always referred to these in these videos. If you see those photos online of the cattle or the pit bull dogs that are just massively giant, they don't have myostatin being released, so they can get as big as they want. 
human beings have natural myostatin releases and it helps you from getting too big too quickly. Now, by taking this product, you're not gonna blast through plateaus and thresholds and become Arnold Schwarzenegger, but it's gonna help you put on muscle size a little bit easier than if you don't have an ingredient like epicatechin. 200 milligrams of epicatechin is sufficient. I like the use of it here and they've been using epicatechin for quite a while in the size product. Next ingredient at 50 milligrams from, is from New Live Science is Synactive. Synactive has been uh, an increasingly popular ingredient used in dietary supplements because it helps bring, it helps eliminate dead cells and regenerate new ones to give you better muscle recovery, overall performance. A lot of science behind this particular ingredient. We have more information on that over at FI. You can check it out, a deep dive in just to that ingredient alone. But behind it, it's gonna help improve performance in the gym. It's gonna help improve recovery. A lot of benefits come from that. The biggest one here in this particular product is if you can increase exercise performance and improve recovery, you're going to help build muscle. Last ingredient here, again, from New Live is estrogen. This just helps with absorption of the above ingredients that we had just spoke about. So like I said, this is available in three flavors. It is available again in the cherry limeade. Uh, this one does use sucralose as a sweetener in the base, which I don't have an issue with. The natural one, which is unflavored, sweetened with stevia, and then they have the branded collab with Warheads in Sour Watermelon. If you want a deeper dive into this particular product, look below for a link in the description to take you to fitnessinformer.com to break down this product even further than I was able to do here in the video. If you want to purchase this product, look below as well. There'll be a link to take you over to Ghost's website to purchase this, as well as a coupon code that will save you 20% on this particular product, as well as all the Ghost products at their website. Make sure you follow us on our social media channels. We're on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all new videos free of charge right here at our YouTube channel. And for more dietary supplement news and information, workout routines, and nutrition plans, visit our official website. We're online at fitnessinformant.com.